Well, so it begins. I'm standing in front of one of the huge pits we have dug out, and we're about to start one of the most monumental tasks we've ever done in our lives. We are gonna be building a massive water tank. The scope of this project is just absolutely crazy. So this water tank will go five feet down to the ground, about six feet above, so 11 feet with an approximately 20 foot wide diameter. We're thinking that once this thing is done, it should be able to hold close to 25,000 gallons of water. Oh, I get excited just thinking about it. But now we have these raw holes dug into the ground. For this area, for the water tank, I think I'm gonna need to bring up some of that material, bring up some of those rocks, level out the ground. This is it, this is the start of something huge. I'm just thinking about how fast that excavator moved all this soil out, but we still have a ton of work to do. All this has got to come out. Oops. <laughs> I've been busy. I'm trying to dig our water tank down a little bit more and get it even. I figure a level water tank probably be pretty good. Of course, that's where our DIY water level is really coming to play. In fact, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll put that video link in the description below. But it's been an amazing help so far. That's gonna be an invaluable tool as we build our off-grid house and this uh, off-grid rainwater harvesting tank out of earth bags. But I'm gonna get at it. I have another tool I have to make before we can start building. And this tool I am very excited about, made of just spare fence parts. So I'm gonna keep working on leveling this thing and getting it just right. Then we'll put together our new tool. Woo! Boulders out here. And I tell you, as I've been digging down here, there is just a ton of rocks. I've been pulling out just a mound of rocks. You can see it right over there. Oh, man. I guess I gotta take a little break from uh, digging and building this tool because we're getting the rain again, yeah! According to our gauge this morning, we got about a half an inch of rain already and it's still coming down. You gotta check this out, y'all. We're getting that overflow again, baby, yeah! Tanks are full again and I love it. We are ready, we've got water now for building. This is exciting, I can't wait. Woo! Good morning, good morning. Well, it's time to build the compass. If you want to build an earth bag, cylinder, or a dome, this thing is a must. With this tool, you'll be able to build your own perfect off-grid earth bag structure. We had a little bit of a rain delay yesterday, which was good. I ain't gonna complain. Much needed water. We're topped off again. This thing was overflowing pretty much all day. Can you believe that? Once we get this thing built, we ain't gotta worry about that. We'll be able to collect all the water all day long. All right, so without further ado, let's get to building. All right, so let's quickly go over some of the things you might wanna pick up to build your own pole compass. You could probably find it just about any big box store, but it's just basically chain link fence parts. So this is how I'm putting our pole compass together. I bought a couple of top rails, 10 feet long. It's just about perfect for what we need. A line post which is perfect because these will fit uh, right inside here, just slightly larger diameter. It'll slip right in, and you'll see why that's important coming up. What else do I got here? I got uh, an end cap, pat, pat, and a galvanized fork latch. 
And all together, this stuff didn't really cost all that much money. Had it been between 20, 30 bucks. This I wanna cut down because it is way too long for what I need. I'm gonna cut it down to about two feet. And then we're gonna put this part in the ground. Booyah! What you up to? I'm moving plants outside. I think it's uh, gonna be warm enough now. Temperatures look pretty stable coming up. You think these plants have had enough uh, being on the inside? Yeah, look at this poor thing. Get some sunlight. There's that avocado tree that uh, people have been seeing on the lives. Not looking too good. Hopefully we can uh, get this thing looking healthy again. Alright, I think I'm all straight. I think I got everything I need. Now this part is the part I want to take my time with because this part is essential. This larger diameter pipe is going to go into the ground and you want to make sure that this is as level as possible. You want this to be on point. Once you know you've got this straight and plumb, then you know uh, everything else will be going around it. Might even be a good idea to check this periodically while you're working to make sure it doesn't shift. This is looking really good. What I do is pack that down, tamp it down as best I can. Ooh, I'm excited to build this tool. If all goes well, this should make building with the earth bags so much easier, so much more accurate. Like it's looking really good. Hey, set. Intermission time! Haircut. Probably long overdue. I'm not a big fan of haircuts, but I'm not a crazy big fan of long hair either, especially when these temperatures are about to heat up. Oh, crew, don't eat that. This guy's eating food he puked up days ago. He must have found a few chunks. He's hunting for more. All right, now that we got that haircut business out of the way, well, let's finish this off. I don't think the rest of this will take that long. Now that I got my pole in there, put this one in here. And then I'm done. <laughs> Not quite. So this whole thing right here is just right in the center. I think it needs to go as high as your, your building is gonna go, but this one doesn't quite meet that standard. But we'll see, either I'll have to add another pull on top of this, which is super, it will be super easy, or just kind of keep a straight edge to the bags. We'll have to see when we get there. So this is my vertical pull, now I'm gonna attach the horizontal pull. I'm gonna put my end cap on here. I'm gonna take this part off of the latch. I won't need that. And this is almost done. One thing I forgot. Guard dog doing what he does best. Always vigilant. Always ready. So one thing, the book I'm reading suggests getting an L bracket. I found something very cheap. I think this was less than $2. I'm gonna try and bend this up like I bent the tension bars for the earth bag stands. If you didn't check out how I built those earth bag stands, I'll leave a link to that. Go check out that video if you're interested in how to build some tools for your own earth bag build. Now I'm hoping this bends relatively easy. I think I'm gonna put some gloves on just in case. I don't want anything slipping and slicing my hand or anything like that. I think you wanna make sure you get that 90 degree bend in. I'll have to double check that. But it's looking pretty good. So this is the last little bit to finish this off. Super easy, isn't it? I'm gonna attach my L bracket to the pipe here with a couple of clamps. Cause this will end up marking the interior of our structure. Crudo, what are you doing? What you doing out here? <laughs> guard duty? You on guard duty? Keep up the good work, buddy. Keep up the good work. 
that's pretty much it. I got my L in place. Problem is, I found out some of these walls are gonna need to get moved out a little bit. It's not quite 10 feet. I might just have to shave a couple inches off of some of these walls, an inch or two off of some of these areas in order to get this to fully go around. But I don't think that should be a problem. Just, just shave a little bit off. No worries. <laughs> All right, so that's the pole arm compass. Not a bad build, pretty quick. I think it's gonna be uh, just an amazing help out here with this build. I gotta knock these walls back down a little bit. So that's what I'll be busy doing. But the next time you see us, I plan to have this thing in use. So come along with us. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because you got to see me fill some bags. All right, we'll catch you in the next video, everyone. Bye. Ah! Ah! This actually might be harder than I thought. Get up on out of here. Get up on out of here. Ah! Good run. Good run. All right. All right, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough.